Hi everybody, good evening. So as promised, I am coming to you to present my very first YouTube video, okay? it. I told you I was gonna try to start at the beginning and work my way through. So this video is for those of you who are not notaries yet, are thinking about applying. So here I go. Now, a notary public is commissioned by their state to serve the public, okay? They are an impartial witness and they are a public official, right? So we are persons of proven integrity, okay? And when we serve as an impartial witness, that means that when we notarize these documents that we are attesting that we have no financial or beneficial interest in the documents that we are notarizing, okay? That's what it means to be impartial. Now, you all know that notary laws do vary from state to state. Not every state practices the same laws as the other. When you are assigned your commission or your appointment as a notary, Usually that is done by your state government or secretary of state or attorney general or even um, a local judge. OK, now the terms for which we are assigned our commission does vary by state as well. It varies anywhere from two to from two years to a lifetime. Like I do know for Louisiana, they have a life term. And for Florida, which is where I am, my term is four years. I have to renew every four years. Now, notaries are also unbiased, okay? We cannot discriminate. So when we're doing our notarizations, when someone requests our services, we are performing an unbiased public duty to them, okay? Now, you can refuse notarizations, but it cannot be based on bias or discrimination, okay? Now, we can refuse it if it does not meet the criteria for which our state allows us to notarize, but that's really as far as that goes for refusal. Now, applying, that's the fun part, right? So you want to go on your state website, you want to do your research, okay? You want to review what steps they want you to take to apply to be a notary in your state, okay? Um, some states require surety bonds, some don't. Um, you may have to get errors and omissions insurance and you may not too. Um, the surety bond basically protects the public in the event that you mess up during your notarization, you know what I'm saying? Even if you did not do it intentionally, but it still end up causing damages to the person you notarize for, that surety bond is going to protect them. Errors and omissions insurance, like I said, is optional, but it is highly recommended because that protects you, the notary, in the event someone tries to file suit against you because you did a notarization that caused damages to them, okay? Now, un on your state website, it should also give you some state approved vendors that you can apply through to become a notary if you decide to not go the route of applying directly through your state website. Some of those approved vendors may be a notary association, okay? Notary associations are all in one shops, okay? You can literally apply to become a notary and purchase your supplies all in one spot. They also offer the surety bond and errors and omissions insurance. They also offer you the option to become a member. And by becoming a member, you have the ability to be able to give them a call on their hotline and ask questions if you end up coming against unfamiliar notarizations and you just wanna ask questions to be sure that you're doing it correctly, okay? They also offer discounts too. So that may be something you want to look into if you decide to go that route of applying through a notary association. Now the cost. The cost of becoming a notary is not really expensive. It does vary from state to state. So if you go on there and you're like, oh, you know, it's only $80 for me. And then somebody in another state like, well, it was $160 for me. It varies. Okay. It's not the same in every state. Um, generally, the cost 
for becoming commissioned and getting all your notary supplies falls around the range of less than 200 bucks. So it's not really expensive. Um, I mean, that could be on a high end, but it's, it's not really, you know. Now, if you decide to get more training and further your education, you will incur additional costs and then that will bring you above that $200 range that I was talking about. Now, processing times also vary from state to state, okay? It can be anywhere from two weeks to eight weeks. It just depends on the state and I guess how they're processing and if they are, you know, backed up for processing. Now, while you're waiting to become commissioned, you want to study and learn your notary laws in your state, okay, guys? The state handbook is on the website. I do know there are some states that do not have a state handbook. Um, so... The National Notary Association, I was able to get my notary state handbook from them. It's called the Notary Primer. I also purchased a how-to guide for notaries, and that helps you to um, learn some of the different tasks that you will do being a notary, okay? And another good book is the Sign and Thrive book by Bill Soroka. I read that book. I really enjoyed that book. It really gave me a lot of information that I did not know. So it helps, okay? Definitely don't just sit and wait for your commission. Use that time wisely and educate yourself and gain the knowledge of being a notary in your state, okay? Now, that is all that I have. Um, becoming a notary is not hard, guys. It's really easy and it is really rewarding, okay? Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my video. Please, please like and subscribe. You know, I do plan on doing future videos to help all of my notaries. I do have a Facebook New Notary Basics group and they are the ones who requested of me to do these videos. So I'm starting to do it. Um, also check the descriptions below because I do have links there that can be a benefit to you. They're the National Notary Associations. Um, they are the notary supply stores. And then of course, you know, I had to put Amazon because what can you not get from Amazon, right? Thank you guys again. Have a good night. Bye.